The NHS winter crisis has been a struggle for patients and staff alike, but it has also prompted a long overdue and necessary debate about its sustainability and future. There are those, like former Health Secretary Sajid Javid, who think the way forward for the free cradle-to-grave service is to start charging the patients who can afford it. Shadow Health Secretary Wes Streeting's reply to this proposal was, over my dead body. Defenders of the NHS as a free-for-all service, including the former Labour Prime Minister Gordon Brown, warn this will create a two-tier system that will fail the most vulnerable. However, all sides agree that the NHS is in need of reform and cannot be allowed to endure an endless cycle of summer and winter crises. COVID has left a long shadow over the NHS. But Professor Patel argues that the pandemic's legacy is not all bad. The workforce issue is critical. There are over 165,000 vacancies currently in the NHS, ambulance workers, nurses and hospital staff are striking for better pay, and will continue their industrial action for weeks to come unless their demands are met. In November 2022, Health Secretary Steve Barkley outlined five priorities in the short term for the NHS. He said the NHS was in an existential crisis and pledged his party would train more staff, use the private sector to bring down waiting lists, and introduce fair pay and conditions for workers. Sajid Javid's proposal would see patients charge £20 fees for GP appointments and £66 for emergency visits without a referral. The idea will be met with fierce opposition from frontline medics. Dr. Ed Hartley, the Director for Emergency Medicine at University Hospitals Coventry and Warwickshire, would resist any moves to charge payments. He says that would not solve the crisis. Instead, he wants to see reform and investment in key areas like social care and staff recruitment and retention. Dr. Hartley says extra funding will help to solve many of the health services problems, but only if it is directed towards long-term solutions. He said, money in the right places fixes the NHS. Short-term projects, to put a holding pen for ambulances outside the ANE, don't fix the NHS.